Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to see you here and today I have a different kind of video for you. I normally say that I have a very exciting video for you. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same today and I wish I didn't have to do this video in the first place. A lot of you were wondering about the situation and I wanted to tell, you know, the whole story, I wanted to tell my side of it and uh, as you can see from the title, I am going to talk about the day when they didn't let me fly to Spain uh, from Memmingen airport and if you follow me on Instagram then you saw a array of my stories, a lot of people like I said were asking about it. To be honest I wanted to wait a little bit to make this video because it felt like I was still very much into it and even now like when I look back and I think about the situation it makes my blood boil. I am still super angry about this whole situation but enough time has gone past that I can kind of like I said, tell my story, explain the situation and maybe you can take it as a lesson, maybe you can learn from it. So yeah, without further ado, let's go and get started with the video. I guess let's start from the very beginning. I was supposed to fly for my birthday to Spain, to Alicante from Memmingen airport, which is uh, like 100 kilometers away from Munich. And I have flied from this airport very often because it has a lot of like Ryanair or cheaper airline flights and I had actually purchased the tickets like I don't know a few months ago. It's important to mention that I have flied the exact same flight on the exact same day, this, like literally the same time and everything at least five times I think and I have flied with the same suitcase because I only have one. I have flied you know with the same setup all the time and if you know from my past I am a very experienced traveler. I have traveled a lot from my previous, you know, tennis player years. I know all the dimensions of Ryanair, I know the weight, I know everything and I always make sure to research it in advance. And uh, this time it was no exception. I, I was well prepared, I had a suitcase and I had a bag that was going under the seat in front of me. I just have to say that the airport itself, if you've never been, is not the nicest. I was in the, waiting in the cafeteria, I wanted to drink something that was on the menu, they don't have it. The Wi-Fi does not work, the duty-free is super small, but again, that's what you get with these low-cost airlines, I'm not complaining, you know, you know what you get, you, you pay what you get for. But already this whole like airport experience is different than what you normally have. Then when the time came to board i normally wait until i'm one of the last people to board and then um yeah i gave my boarding pass one girl was taking the boarding pass another girl was checking for the bags and then the other two or three were kind of standing uh, on the side one of them was on the phone they were kind of sitting in a super laid back position which i felt a little bit unprofessional from their side but you know whatever i don't really care about those things and then suddenly one of those girls wanted to check my luggage and my luggage was uh, supposedly too big. Again, uh, as I said, I flied with this bag literally for like five years. I don't even know how many flights I've done with it, with various, various airlines, Ryanair included, and I've never had any problems. So I was just like very confused about why suddenly this was an issue. And it uh, fit perfectly into this like box that you put your luggage in. But um, yeah, for some reason they were not happy with it. They said that it's not good enough. And uh, to be honest, I was like just very confused. I started asking for more questions. I wanted to know what is the deal? What, why is this causing a problem? On which they responded super arrogantly. Uh, you know, they were really, the customer service was non-existent. The way they talked to me, I kind of felt really attacked. I was trying to speak with them in German uh, because I always feel like if I'm in someone's country, I'm trying to speak the language that they speak so that it's easier for them. Suddenly, instead of one girl, there were like three girls standing around me. They were all yeah, talking with heightened voices, like, super arrogant. Literally, I've never had such a bad like service from someone in the airport before. The issue was not the paying. I, I would have paid or I even suggested later on that I will pay for it. I was just trying to understand what the issue is instead of uh, kind of being understanding and uh, they were just Literally, I felt like I was being bullied. Again, super arrogant, super unhelpful. Like, they are there to help the passengers. They are there to 
make the whole process easier and smoother. From my perspective, they were just doing the exact opposite. And with kind of the more questions that I asked, the more rude and arrogant and loud they became. Out of three girls, there were suddenly five girls. And basically they were saying like, yeah, you're not gonna fly anymore. You're delaying our flight. To which I was like shocked. I tried to explain to them that I'm flying to see my parents that I only see a few times a year. You know, I'm not trying to cause any problems. I just wanted to know what the issue was. And you know, I just wanted to get on the flight. I didn't care, it was like nine in the evening and I just wanted to get it over with. But um, the girls seemed to have a different opinion and they, like I said, they all kind of ganged up on me. I really felt super unprotected. I felt like I couldn't defend myself in German anymore. I switched to English. They were all screaming at me. Again, the whole vibe, the whole flight was looking at us like, Everyone was confused. The whole thing was very weird and I still don't understand how we got there. And after all of this, I think it was taking like 10 minutes or more. I, I was so angry and I asked them, or one girl in specifically, I looked her in the eyes and I said, look, why do you have to act like such a bitch? I am just trying to get on my flight. You are just trying to do your job. Can we just talk and then we can solve our issues. It might have not been the best thing to say, but on the other hand, I don't feel like it is like such a big ex insult or anything. Like, I, again, I wasn't screaming, I wasn't <laughs> being physically aggressive or anything. I just asked because I really, I didn't understand why they were being so complicated and yeah, why they were all being so bitchy. So of course, from my side as well, I overboiled and that's how I reacted. That things escalated even more. They all started screaming at me, give me your boarding pass, give me your boarding pass. I was like, what do you need your po my boarding pass for? Please explain it to me. You can't just demand things. You can't just take things away from me and not tell what you're gonna do. I asked to call the manager. She came, did not listen to a single word. I said she was there maybe for 10 seconds and said, you're not gonna fly and just left. So that was very helpful as well from the manager's side. Clearly I didn't want to be heard. In the end they were kind of all screaming and literally like escorting me out like as if I was some kind of a criminal. From that point on I wanted to get their names because I wanted to make a public complaint. So then I started to try to get the names of these workers, these employees. I didn't get anything. They escorted me out, they said to ask in the information desk, in the information desk they said that they don't know who they were. They only said, the only thing I know is that these employees are not from Ryanair, they are specifically employed by Memmingen Airport. Then I went to the police, you know, explained the situation again and uh, I just find it so ridiculous that the police said that this thing happens every single week, it is nothing new which for me is already like very alarming. How can something like that happen every week? Uh, clearly there is some kind of an issue with this airport, like I'm sorry. The reason why I'm doing this video again is not to put myself as a, some kind of a victim. I think both parties acted incorrectly. For me that is not a reason enough to not let someone onto the flight. They were claiming that they didn't let me on because I was supposedly very aggressive. Uh, which again, if you know me, you know that I'm not an aggressive person. But the things that I said were said much later when I already knew that I'm not gonna fly. From my side, what I can tell you so that you can prevent this kind of situation is literally if you can, do not fly from this airport because this airport does not care about you as a customer. They don't care to make your experience better. Like I said, the cafeteria is half empty. The shops are non-existent, there is no Wi-Fi. If you ask why the Wi-Fi doesn't work, the employees just kind of say, yeah, we don't know. Um, you know, the whole thing, it's not about budget or the money that it's a low cost airport. It's about the attitude of them to their customers, to the people that are traveling. Another thing that I can suggest is clearly you cannot question a single thing because uh, they are just gonna demand, they have the right to do whatever they want. You can't know your rights, you can't know the reason. I also posted a lot of stories on Instagram kind of explaining the situation briefly. I tagged Memmingen Airport to which they even replied to my story saying that I was not allowed on the flight because I was extremely aggressive to their employee. Again, that's not the situation. If that's how they want to twist it, it's fine by me. I mean, we can't change how it is, but... I feel like we should all stay human at the end of the day. Yes, there are rules, there are policies, 
let's even assume that my bag was too big. We could have solved this as adults, as normal human beings. We can talk to each other and uh, all of the situation could have been avoided. But like I said, none of the girls wanted to listen to me. They ganged up on me and just kind of wanted to prove, wanted to show that they have some power or whatever, literally. That's the only explanation I have. I hope that my situation was an exception and that if you do fly from that airport, everything is going to be fine. I've forgiven them because I know at the end of the day, people that act like this probably have some issues on their own. They are sad and uh, it has nothing to do with me. But uh, yeah, that was my story. I hope it was useful. I hope it was entertaining or it gave you some kind of a clarity. Thank you so much for watching and uh, next week starts already Vlogmas, so I will see you there.